Yeah, hello. This is a start of my first solar array. Right now I've got one 100 watt panel. I just ordered two more last night. And uh, kind of designing this to hold 12 100 watt panels. And this is an old clothesline pole. I pick up scrap metal and see I welded a piece on there. And uh, the upright is going to drop into a piece of pipe about this big around. I'm working on it and you can see it's quite a bit bigger in diameter. They've got cement and dirt and everything else in there so but uh, what I plan on doing is where this is going to rest up in here I may try to Try to come out with a piece of metal, a little, little flange sticking out, you know, an inch or so just to cover <coughs> cover the pipe up to where uh, water doesn't get down in it. But even if it does, down about ground level, I'm going to drill a hole in it for any water gets in it, it can seep out. And over here, I guess I'd do scrap metal, so that's explains all this and you can see the trailer load but this end is going to go in the ground I've come down five inches I'm going to drill a hole here and a hole here because that upright is three foot so this is about two and a half foot down from the top and I've got four bolts here that I've made up out of some all thread so Making them three and a half inches long, which is more than enough. That's that's almost enough to go through completely. I could probably go two and a half. But I thought, well, it's not going to hurt to have it a little extra long. But then I may have to rethink that up here by the top, since it's going to be angled down. I may have to go with a. May have to look at that. I could probably go with two two and a half inches because it only has to go in half an inch or so. So, yeah. I may cut them down a little smaller. But, uh, got four made right now that I can put down at the bottom. And, uh, I may cut, I got two cut here. I got hooked up to my drill so I can just, as I cut one off, I can just advance that all thread through the two nuts here. Which, to hold it in the vise secure, I put it on these two nuts. That way the vise doesn't booger the threads up. So, but that's the start of it so far. The plan is to drill some holes, weld some nuts on there, and then I can put this, my, my new bolts in there. So yeah, I think I'm going to cut these down to maybe two inches. I think it'll work. It goes in a half inch. It'll still stick out an inch, inch and a half. So, which... The nut itself is probably close to a half an inch. And just just about, right about a half inch. So we'll get back when I get a little more done. Okay, I got the four bolts done. Cut that all threaded. Two and a half inches. Of course the nut itself takes up a half inch, so it gives me two inches to pretty well screw into the pipe. I'll have to clean up the edges just a little bit on some of these. Yeah, the welds aren't pretty, but I never claimed to be a welder. So I'll take them to the grinder, clean them up just a hair where a socket will fit on there or a wrench. But uh, they're done. They're still kind of hot. And I put a uh, it's just shoo, about half inch, half inch all thread. So, starting off with a 1364s bit, I drilled a little divot in there. Then I'll put a drop of oil in there, and then uh, drill it through, and then I'll go to a bigger bit and kind of work my way up. That way, the bits don't get too hot, too fast, and. Uh, 
and we'll pick it up here in a little bit. Okay, I've got the uh, first two nuts welded on. Got that one and that one. So I got uh, six to go. I still got to pull these out and dress up the clean up the edges. But uh, we're getting there. Shouldn't take too much longer, and uh, I'll be able to be ready to cement this thing in. I got thinking on that cross piece. I got C clamps will be holding that uh, unistrut right there. I think I have to cut those down to about eight foot, or just or just a little shorter, but somewhere right in that area. And uh, so whatever side. You know where, where the upright is whatever let me make sure i'm doing that whatever side the panels are angled at in case the thing comes down i got to make sure i may have to make sure the bolts pulled out of that edge and only use three of them on the lower edge lower part probably won't matter on the upper but i may just go may do the same thing there if it's kind of lined up where i think it's going to hit the glass on the panel should the panel should the winds blow it Blow it vertically, <laughs> I guess I could say. So now I got to rotate this around a little bit and uh, drill some more holes. Mainly, I used and my 3 8 was pretty dull, so I used the uh, 13 60 force, then I went to the 15 60 force, then I went to the 5 16 and then to the half inch. And I, I stopped and oiled the half inch. Well, I put the drill on slow speed too for the half inch slowed it down and then I oiled, put a drop of oil on there two three times while I was drilling through kept it lubricated so got that part so I'll see you here when I get get a little further along I got the pole cemented in got it nice and plumb I guess you would say, can't say level because it's going up and down, so I guess it's, that would be plumb. You can see where the shadow is right now. It's uh, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And uh, when I first sat it in there, it was about 1.30, 10 to 2. I stuck that little rod in there because that's right where the end of the shadow, the pipe shadow was. So, uh, grab a rod in here. Probably too short. But, uh, I saw a guy where he used a sledgehammer. We should probably want to put it, make sure it's on a good level spot. And then he, uh, he took a straight edge, put it basically out right at the edge of the shadow, and then leaned it up on the top, across the top of the pole. And that was basically that's your angle for setting your probably your angle and your direction. Today is uh, 5th of June, so I'd, one guess I'd set it at the summer solstice, which would be the 21st, and you fit, figure sunrise and sunset, and you figure halfway in between, that's your solar noon, and that would be how you get your angle. So this kind of gives me a pretty close, you know, we're 15, two weeks off, so it's not going to change that much, so it gives me an idea. And by doing it this way, because I wanted to mount some on the roof too, but the building doesn't really sit at the proper angle. So what I may have to do up there, I may have to kind of make like level platforms come out, level it up in an area where I can offset it. It may be, you know, maybe hit the first ridge line. I might be down, you know, six, eight, ten inches, and then you know it may be right at the peak on the other end. So in order to get that that angle there. Shoot, might be down 18. You know, if I go four panels wide and they're 45 and a half inches long, that's almost 16 feet. So, 16 foot span at that angle there, that could be a couple, two, three feet maybe. So, but uh, that's kind of why I wanted to go with this setup first. That way I can. Change the angle if I need to, change the direction and change the 
pitch or the angle of the panels. And plus, if I get a snow load on them or something, I could be easy to come out here with a broom and knock the snow off. But uh, later I'll probably put you know, some up on the roof. Plus, I'm thinking out here it's going to catch the sun a little bit earlier than what it will on that roof. But that tree right there east is that direction so got all these trees coming up blocking the sun early in the morning so it's all afternoon sun I'm gonna be getting late morning afternoon what I might do over to that side I drive through here quite a bit and not a lot anymore but try to keep that open in case I need to drive through there so I may go with a solar array over that way of course I may go get past that tree there and kind of get over you know that tall grass over there I get all that cut down and maybe put one up over there at the garden area and then I thought about somewhere right in here put one you know you clear the trees but I'm just gonna have to kind of watch how shadows are in that area through the summer and the winter so it'll be a, it'll be ongoing on this one for a while I think the panels are $92 a piece so yeah a couple this month a couple next month okay we'll pick this up in a few days or a week when I get a little closer get to getting the panels up let this set in harden up good for a few days we're talking about rain later tonight, so if we get a lot of rain, then the ground's going to be soft, so I might wait a few more days before putting this all, to, all together. But the pan panels aren't going to be here till next Friday. Uh, they're saying next Friday. They could come in a day or two early at Amazon, so, you know, they come in early a lot of times. So we'll pick it up when we get a little further. Okay, I got the first part of the array done. Yeah, I was going to cut the unistrut. You can see where I kind of had a mark in here for the uh, last part. The panel force that sat right in there, but as you can see, my brackets here are not even lined up there. So I decided not to cut anything until I knew for sure what I had. You can see the panel on top is much longer and narrower than the other two panels that I got in. Now, it's one thing I was trying to find on, I was looking at different, different manufacturers that had the beginner's kits that came with a single solar panel and some came with more, but I got, you know, one just had a single panel, the uh, cables, 20 foot of cable, uh, charge controller, and on this rich solar they were talking there goes the dog they're talking about these panels being uh, 20.5 inches wide and what do we got here uh, they said 20.5 and we got 21 and a quarter wide so this is not what they're showing on the Amazon page and they were showing, uh, what was it, 40.5 inches long, and I got 39 inches even. So that's a big difference from what they're showing on the Amazon page. So that's one thing you got to kind of keep in mind if you're going to buy anything like this. I hope this wind isn't messing up with the sound too much. But you got one size panel for your starter kit, then if you buy other panels, you get totally different sizes. So what I'm going to have to do on this probably is buy two more panels that are the same size to finish this string here. And then I built this so I can have a total of 12 panels. So I figure I'll cut the length off after I get you know the fourth panel on there, then I'll know right where I'm at. Then I'll have to buy four more pieces of Unistrut yet. But for now, I'm probably just going to go with uh, four panels right now and get, get a second battery 
and see how that does me and then as money permits I'll probably go ahead and you know get more but I think I'll stay away from the beginners kits I'll just go ahead and buy the panels and buy the solar charger separately it will probably cost me a little bit more but uh, with each beginners kit I'll get you know two two leads running in that are just got the connectors on one end I mean how many of those do I need I'd have you know I'd have a lot extra because I was thinking about you know, eventually buying four kits and then uh, one side I could just run four of those other panels that I'm thinking well how would that look here unless I just made a diff totally different array with them it may do that I'll have to check the price of the you know which I know what a panel runs. the panel runs about ninety two dollars and then uh, I'll have to check the price of the charge controller and uh, with that beginner's kit that one panel you do get do get brackets but I'm using these uh, what, what we call hurricane brackets Basically, they're roof ties, rafter ties, and uh, they come in different shapes. And you know, depend on what part of the country, probably, or what lumber yard the manufacturer. And then I got some self-tapping screws online, three-quarter inch, that I uh, ran in here, and I just ran two in the, the frame. I kept it way down low, away from the glass. But that's it so far, and. Uh, I've been running the fan and everything, and everything's staying up pretty good. Of course, I haven't run it hard and heavy with the air compressor, and and I'm not sure. I'm thinking I could probably almost use the plasma cutter going direct, but I'm not sure if I could run the plasma cutter and the compressor at the same. Later down the road, get once I get four, maybe six batteries, I can probably run it no problem. But I'd have to have probably put it on two different inverters. Have the air compressor on one inverter and the charge uh, the plasma cutter on the other because they're both going to draw a lot of a lot of amperage. So then that that would probably be way too much for the inverter. It tripped the breaker in it. But uh, I've got a couple of the brackets that go on the top of the pole for the small satellite dishes. So I can probably make up a little a little solar array that would hold four panels off of one of those down the road so if I do get go with the beginners kits once I get that fourth kit I can take the four panels if they're all the same size and put them all together I just have to watch it on here but that's it so far so hey if you enjoyed the, the video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends uh, if you're new to the channel I want to thank you for stopping by and watching the video and uh, I want to ask you to take a look around at my playlist and see the different things I do that I've got going here and uh, see if I can earn your subscription. So uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.